Hello all and welcome back. Today in this video, I'm here to discuss about bill splitting in order 14 POIs. That is how to split bills for customers when they are placing order in a bar or restaurant. So this feature is only available in bar or restaurant uh, in point of sale module. So when you open point of sale, here we can see bars and shops. So let me open one bars, uh, one uh, the configuration of this bar and make sure that uh, the bar is closed. That is the session is closed. So without closing session, we can't make any mo make modifications in the settings. Okay, this session is closed. So, making modifications. so here you can see um, it is a bar or restaurant. So if it is a bar or restaurant, then only that option will splitting is uh, will be available. Okay, under bills and receipt section, you can find the option bill splitting. Then just enable other uh, options if you want, like bill printing invoicing. So these are some required options. Then flows and tables. That is, uh, here I have added uh, two flows, main floor and patio. This is just to design flows and assign orders to tables. Okay, then just enable all other things that you require. Then after that, save the settings. And let's start a new session. So if you start a new session, you will be redirected to the uh, floor. You can see main floor and patio. So from here, you can place orders on tables. So you can see tables in different shapes and colors. So let me open one table. I'm opening T3 and let me place orders here. First, let me place an order for food. Club sandwich, six quantities and cheeseburger two quantities then back to drinks so customer places order for water six quantities and coca-cola one quantity and then uh, so uh, order is placed for that table t3 now here there is an option to split the bills to uh, multiple customers we can split the bill so when you click on this, you can see it is redirected to a payment page where we can split the bill. So for club sandwich, there are six quantities ordered. That is six quantities ordered for this club sandwich. And when you click on this, you can see the quantity changed. That is one. So when you again click and see this two, then if you again click and see this three. And when you click on cheeseburger, you can see one quantity. And again, water for uh, water two quantities. Then here you can pay bill for these quantities. That is club sandwich three, cheeseburger one, and water two. And you can make the payment. So I am going to make a payment uh, 20.42 uh, and validate it. So the bill is made uh, for those quantities. You can see here the total amount. Then I can place next order. So when you come back to the table, you can see there is one quantity, uh, one order remaining. So when you click on this, you can make payment for the remaining quantities. So here you can see the club sandwich that remaining is three, then four cheeseburger one, and for water four, one. Then here we can make the payment. And if you want a, to split this again, then you can uh, click on this. So I'm clicking on payment and the payment for remaining. Then validate. So for the remaining uh, quantities, payment is done. And bill is created and payment is done. So there are no orders remaining. So this is how we uh, split orders. That is if customer places orders. And this is how we split bills, bills for customers. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to order at cyprocess.com.